Okay, welcome to this section on the grip. We're going to talk about the actual grip and the grips that you can use, and I'll give you kind of some best practices on certain details of the grip that are going to help you as you go along in your journey and, and playing drums. So the first thing that I like to do when I talk about grip is have students drop their hands down to the side. Okay? Now when you do that, you notice that you have a gap here between your thumb and your index finger and that your, your hands or your fingers curve, right? So if I was to put a stick in my hand, it would look like that. Totally natural. I'm not manipulating it in any way. It's just dropped in there. So now what I want to do is I want to take it from that position and I want to go ahead and bring it to playing position on the snare drum. And that's what it looks like. Still have our gap here. Still have the fingers curved. Okay? So in my opinion, that's the most natural playing position that we can get. Now, a couple things to keep in mind here. The stick is going to rest on the first crease of your index finger, and it's going to rest on the first crease of these three fingers as well. Okay? Try not to let the stick slide back to that second crease, or the second crease is there, because you're going to lose control when you do that. This is going to be the best place for you to maintain your control. Now, there's a word that you need to be aware of when you're talking about grip, and that's the fulcrum. And, you know, different, different players consider the fulcrum in different spots. But for me personally, I consider the fulcrum most of the time between my thumb and my middle finger, right on this first crease here. So the stick basically pivots around like that, okay? Now, I use the index finger, I call that a stabilizing finger. So that keeps the stick stabilized and stable in my grip, but most of the action is happening back here with the middle finger and then the back two fingers. Now sometimes there'll be some, some situations where the fulcrum will move up to here for me. Uh, one is if I have to play really soft on the snare drum or if I'm playing really fast on the ride cymbal and playing jazz, I might cheat up and have the fulcrum be here. But 99% of the time, it's there for me, okay? So, once we're in our grip here, we call this position, our playing position, half grip, okay? And it's half grip because the wrist is halfway between this and this. So, if we turn the wrist over all the way, that's what we call German grip. And that originates from... Uh, German classical percussionist, timpanist, playing the timpani, palms up like that, okay? So that's one way that you can play them. If we go back to half grip, another way that you can adjust is to go thumbs on top, and we call that French grip, because French percussionists play the timpani this way, okay? So we have half, we have German, we have French. Now, my opinion, I use all of them. And I use all of them depending on where I am on the drum set. So if I'm on the snare drum, it's half grip. If I go to a tom, half grip. If I go to a tom here, you can see how the thumb is starting to come over a little bit, but it's still half grip. If I'm on the floor tom, French grip. Another floor tom, French grip. So I use all of them. Now, if I go to the ride cymbal, French grip. Let's say I want to play on a bell of a ride cymbal, German grip. Okay. So you need to be aware of all of them. You need to know that you're going to use all of them. But half grip, that's going to be your home base. Okay? One other grip we should talk about, and that's traditional grip. So if we again drop our hand down and we put the stick in our hand, it looks like this. Now we bring the stick up, and there's your traditional grip. So I have my right hand in half grip, left hand in traditional grip. Now, as we go through the whole method, we're going to talk about um, different strokes and different techniques to use all of these grips. So we don't need to get into that here, but just know foundationally that you have half French, German, and traditional grip to work with. Okay? All right. Have fun.